You are listening to the global network of podcasters dedicated to the pharmacy profession. Welcome to the Pharmacy Podcast Network. Welcome to Pharmacy Technology and Management Review's Direct Access Podcast. I'm your host, Maggie Lockwood, and I'm excited to share my conversation with Tori Pearson, Director of Pharmacy Programs at Medicine on Time, a company that has been providing adherence packaging and software to community pharmacy for 30 plus years. In our conversation, Tori takes a deep dive on the software adherence packaging and personalized support the company offers pharmacy owners to help them realize bigger opportunities through better patient care. We'll cover the future of patients served by combo shops and how this is changing. We'll talk about the benefits of servicing long-term care patients, including more competitive reimbursements. We'll get into the details around their software, MOT Next, and their adherence programs, MOT Complete, and the care package, as well as as talking about the appointment-based model and how this calendar system puts pharmacies at the center of care coordination. We'll round it out by talking about the support offered by Medicine on Time, including their knowledgeable staff and the ability to help develop business plans and marketing resources like website updates, presentations, to reach new business. It's a really interesting conversation. We cover a lot. Whether you're a retail pharmacy considering expanding in long-term care or you're interested just in the latest trends around this area, this is a great episode. All right, Tori, thank you for being on our podcast today to talk about the changing landscape of um, long-term care pharmacy for retail pharmacy, uh, you know, evolving how combo shop concept and, and model is changing and how Medicine on Time can support this. So why don't you introduce yourself to us and give us a little bit about your background and okay. go from there. All right, my name is Tori Pearson and uh, my role with Medicine on Time is Director of Pharmacy Programs. And I've been in the pharmacy industry for 18 years, and I've been with Medicine on Time for eight years. Um, And my role with Medicine on Time has kind of evolved. Um, More and more pharmacies really need a little bit more uh, hands-on when it comes to supporting them in their growth, uh, whether it's with retail uh, community patients or with long-term care. And I'm really involved in that with our customers. Um, And so I'm really excited about this conversation. Okay, great. Yeah, and I think one of the things we wanted to start off with was just talking about how patients who combo shops are going to service, that's going to change in the future. Well, I would say that one of the biggest changes I've seen in my 18 years in pharmacy, and actually uh, prior to coming to work for Medicine on Time, actually I got my start in the industry with a pharmacy services or, uh, administration organization. So we dealt with third-party contracting. And I've just seen as the years have gone on how things have changed um, and how reimbursements have changed so much. And so pharmacies are really needing to diversify and get into different areas. One of the benefits of getting into the long-term care sector um, is the reimbursement. So uh, there are more competitive reimbursements with long-term care. So that's a huge benefit benefit to pharmacies because they can make more on each prescription uh, when they're filling for long-term care um, prescriptions. And um, part of that too is there are no DIR fees. Um, Also, whether a pharmacy is servicing a long-term care at home patient or they're servicing uh, patients that are in a residential care community, um, they can also diversify in other areas. So um, there's the MedSync programs, compliance packaging like what we offer, um, and even medication therapy management. So there are reimbursable Um, enhanced services that pharmacies can provide uh, to these communities of of patients. Um, And then outside of uh, skilled nursing, which is kind of what was initially commonly known or considered long-term care, there are so many other communities that are in the long-term care uh, spectrum, Mm -hmm. Um, assisted living, group homes, um, homes for uh, developmentally uh, disabled, um, independent living. There are so many other sectors um, and so really being able to expand out, you know, identify where those these communities are within the the pharmacies communities and, you know, being able to get that that business is huge. Uh, once they are able to get, gain this larger book of business, uh, then it creates more predictability, um, not only for their workflow, like their staff and, and, and um, inventory and things like that, they can kind of say on more, more of a schedule, um, but, you know, that that 
book of business can be very, very long term for them. And, and it, that makes predictability for their business all the way around. The pharmacist right. is now in control of that uh, financial right. situation because they can plan on these uh I'll say contracts or really relationships with the mm -hmm. facilities or the group. And home. generally they do hold contracts and usually for an extended period of time. So they, that's, you know, a book of business that they can kind of, you know, plan on for a, a pretty long term. Right. Right. And I think uh, that leads to the next uh, question we were going to cover, which is mm -hmm. um, med how medicine on time uh, supports the different care settings. And I guess I wanted to hear a little bit about, how it supports capturing that new business like you were talking right. about this. Right, right. Okay. So um, we have a software called MOT Next, and um, it helps pharmacies drive multiple package types. I would say our two products that are the most popular for pharmacies servicing the long-term care community, whether it's, again, residential care or uh, long-term care at home, would be our MOT Complete System or our Care Package. So I'll break those two down a little bit. Um, our MOT complete system, this is a system that's been around for many, many years. Um, it's actually uh, quite driven by like residential care type of communities. Uh, a lot of these communities that have been using this type of system for a long time, um, if they choose to go with another pharmacy, they say, I need to have this system uh, because it just improves the, the ability for the staff to better take care of their patients because they're not counting pills and everything's organized and straightforward, easy for them to follow. The um, facility staff finds it very easy to use. Absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. So it makes it a really easy selling point for a pharmacy that's wanting to get their foot in the door with this type of facility. Um, it's a really good selling point for the pharmacy. If they have this system and it's already established at their pharmacy, if they've been maybe servicing their retail patients with it, because it can be used in retail too. It's just extremely valuable in a um, that type of long-term care setting, assisted living and other, other types of settings. Um, so the system is uh, organized and color-coded by dose time. So there's the four colors. Um, for morning, lunch, dinner, and bedtime, and then there's the uh, another color for PRN and for anything that needs to be isolated or maybe a controlled medication. So in the facility setting, it's really nice that everything's all color coded and and organized for them. And then one of the other really key things on this system is the layout and design, which cr actually creates a lot of versatility. There's a lot of other systems out there that have you know, various formats. A lot of times there's some sort of limitation, a weekly format, which would you know really easily be more of a 28 day uh, monthly plan. So this system, because it lays out like a calendar, it can be in a monthly format or a weekly format. So mm -hmm. it makes it really easy and you can fill up to 35 day supply in one card. Um, and so it makes it really easy for a pharmacy to go into a facility and say, what do you want? And basically any kind of you know, layout or format they're looking for, whatever kind of schedule or cycle works for them, this system can accommodate a lot, along with a lot of other features that the software provides to kind of customize that packaging for the facility and for the patients that are at that facility. One of our new uh, systems, which I'm very excited about, um, is the, the, our care package system. And this is, again, very similar uh, as far as the design and layout. The color coding matches the, the same color coding as the MOT complete system. Uh, it also is a weekly or monthly calendar design. What makes this system unique, uh, number one is the capacity. It will actually hold up to 20 unique uh, medications. Mm -hmm. um, and so for patients that really struggle, um, especially the, the, at those at-home patients, they want all their medications in one dose cup. I, I know there are various options out there that have um, doses that might be smaller, so then they might be managing uh, multiple package packages for one dose time. So this really ensures that they're going to have that one dose for that one dose time. Um, and then there are other like a lot of really cool features. Um, there's branding. You can put your pharmacy logo and information on there. It is uh, built to support the appointment-based model. So it even right there on the card prints your uh, appointment with, you know, pharmacist Julie is coming up on such and such date. Um, so it gives the opportunity, whether it's virtual, maybe they're, um, they're just doing it over the phone or another way that the pharmacist would do that virtually, um, you know, or, or in person, at least they have that dependable date that they know they're going to meet uh, with somebody and talk through any issues they're having. 
Um, and then there's space on that package without any additional pieces. There's space on that package for the pharmacist to communicate things. So you can do graphics um, or text, and it could be advertising an upcoming event. It could be some special messages for a patient, maybe days that you're going to be closed coming up. Um, or maybe you have a new uh, reminder app or something you want to put a little advertisement, or maybe you want to put a coupon on there. So you can do that right there on the package. Uh, the package also has like really large drug images, instructions. It's very easy for the, the patient to follow. Um, and, and so this is an assistant that I would say would be really, really good for um, the long-term care at home patients. In addition to everything I just covered, there is a, an optional piece called the care plan. I think this is what really makes this package type special. Um, so with the care plan, uh, the pharmacist, when they do the consultation with the patient, whether it's virtual or in person, um, anything they talked about can be documented on that care plan. So maybe they had the patient had some changes this month. They can document that. Here are the changes you've had. Um, here, here are the things that we discussed that you need some help with. Here are my recommendations. Um, here is what you should tell your doctor, or here is what I'm going to tell your doctor. Um, anything upcoming, um, like immunizations or anything like that, can also be on the care plan. So that's a really special piece. And there's a whole system in the software that helps um, helps manage that in the pharmacy as well. Um, well, and so that's, those are the products themselves, right? And I think that's I think the concept behind this idea of uh, which is where pharmacy is headed of the pharmacist being uh, doing, you know, engaging so actively in collaborative care, not right. just with the patient and the patients at home too. It's not like this patient's coming in, but you're able to provide these services in their home. You, the right. caregiver has all this information mm -hmm. and then you're on the same page. Pharmacist is on the same page with the doctor. Exactly. Provides a service to the doctor too. Yes. Um, the pharmacy is essentially putting themselves in the center of the care system. Like they're, they're, you know, the coordination of care, they're the center of it and they're coordinating everything with the patient, with the caregiver and the care plan. Um, and as well as other features in the software allow the pharmacy to communicate with the physicians as well. So when there are changes or there's a consultation and things are coming up, you know, the, the, those communications can be sent to, um, to the doctor as well. Well, let's, let's just uh, keep keep on the software then why don't you give us uh, some of those specific features that allow the the pharmacy sure. to, to do these uh tasks and and, yes, yes. and offer this care in such a comprehensive way right again it's very comprehensive care so having a way to organize it is really really important right um our, there really isn't another software to my knowledge um in the industry like our, our software it's called mot next uh, it, the, I would say one of the biggest features in the software is our work calendar. That's what really keeps the pharmacy staff on track and um, gives them the ability to be proactive. They're always working in advance. They can see everybody that's coming up, it's due, and they can see things they need to resolve before they can fill for those patients. Um, and then they can make sure they have the right inventory on the shelf. And then when once they fill for the patients, they can advance them to their next cycle. So it's just a rolling calendar. So it really just keeps them on schedule. Um, and then I would say um, the appointment-based model. Uh, it, so we, again, that the care package is designed to support the appointment-based model. So we decided to build a feature in the software called the appointment-based model calendar. Um, so this is a kind of an add-on feature. It's included with the membership, but it's something a pharmacy can turn on or off depending on if they're offering this type of service. So if they get access to this, um, this appointment-based model calendar, then this helps them organize from the aspect of not just filling, but also planning ahead, calling the patients, documenting anything that they talk to the patient about, things like that. Um, so that, and then of course, documenting the actual appointment, having it on the calendar. So the pharmacist knows to expect that appointment. All of that is done in the software. Kind of on the front end of that is also communications to the patient's caregivers, um, including their uh, prescribers, so that everybody's kind of on the same, uh, same, you know, plan together. Right. Schedule. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, they're on the same schedule. Yes, right. exactly. Um, so that's a, another really important feature. And then really the software just provides, allows the pharmacy to provide a lot of customization, a lot of flexibility. Again, going to a, a facility and the facility says, I need this to print on my charting forms, which that's another feature of our software.
softwares, the charting forms reports that are printed out of there. Um, it, it, there, there's really not much that a pharmacist can't do in our software as it pertains to um, the customization that is sometimes required to not only capture this type of business, but to continue to service this type of business. Yes, because they the, the facility doesn't want to have to retrain their staff. Right. The, the pharmacy, mm -hmm. for better or for worse, is always kind of a, is always accommodating. So having that yes. flexibility on the pharmacist side is very important because you don't want to have to reinvent the wheel every time you exactly engage with a new mm -hmm. um, facility. I wanted to ask one quick follow up uh, on the ch charting and the forms and the documentation in general that goes with a combo shop mm -hmm. um, because this is an ongoing relationship with the doctor, the patient, the facility. Right. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if there's uh, some key features around the documentation that you think are worth talking about or to be aware of and, and use. Right, right. One of the, I think one of the important things that we had, you know, as we've designed the MOT Next software is we, we've tried to make sure that the pharmacy's primary system is the source of truth. So most of the documentation, there are some features like, as an example, the care plan and some things that uh, would be documented in the software. There's pharmacist notes and things like that. If somebody wants to docu document something in the Medicine on Time software they don't have in their primary system, they can do that. But I would say for efficiency purposes, uh, one of the things that we you know, considered in developing the MOTNIC software is um, that the primary system is the source of truth. And actually, I'll get into the the integrations um, right. real quick. That, that's going to segue right into my next question, which was about the interfaces and integration right. to help with right. that efficiency. So. so I think pharmacies like to have their primary system do pretty much everything. And right. I understand why. They want one system for everything. So we felt like it was really important with our software to make it to where their primary system is the source of truth. Most of the things they do is documented in their primary system. And then it's a real-time integration that gets that data from their primary system to our software. Um, again, there are some things they can document in our software, but they probably don't want to be going back and forth between two systems. Right, that, the key is no redundancy. You don't want redundancy. You right, want right. You to look, whoever, you know, the staff person who's dealing with the patient mm -hmm. at that point, be able to see everything without Exactly. In two different systems. So Yes. And I think that's one of the nice things about our interface. There are some interfaces that uh, are more of a file export import. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit more of a manual process involved. Our software is, uh, has a real-time integration, whether it's inbound or outbound. Um, it's a real-time integration, which means, as an example, in the pharmacy's primary system, they go into the patient and they have this patient set up as a medicine on time patient, or maybe the whole facility is set up as a medicine on time facility. Once they are designated as a medicine on time facility in their primary system, then it opens up the gateway for not just the initial data to come through, but um, any changes. So let's say mid-cycle, there's a few changes for a facility for a couple of patients. When, when you know, you're getting ready to go do some tasks in the medicine on time system, it will alert um, right there. Here are the, the changes, here are the, you know, the updates that just came from your primary system. So there's no, oh, wait, let me go check the system or let me go check this system. It automatically comes through. Um, so we do integrate with most of the primary operating systems. Um, and then we also have outbound integrations to automation because some of our pharmacies, that's one of the really cool things about our system. It's scalable. Um, and so, you know, pharmacies can start out for, you know, at first or for years, or maybe they never change, you know, doing the hand packing with our, with, so it's, it really does not require a lot of upfront investment. It's not like they make, need to make any kind of capital investment initially to use our system. But it, what's nice is if they want to continue to grow, they can very easily transition into automation. Oh, it's so adding do, robotics or exactly system. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, and so then, in addition to the automation outbound integration, we also work with um, multiple EMAR, EMAR systems. Mm -hmm. um, so the electronic charting. A lot of the smaller facilities might still do paper charting, which our software produces all the paper charting for that. Um, and some of the big, big, larger facilities, a lot of 
of these farms you want to eventually capture, they're going to do um, you know electronic charting, and so. Our system integrates with multiple EMR systems, as well as other systems. One example would be like DocuTrack. Okay. Um, so that's a, that's a really great. It's, you know, interoperability is just huge in pharmacy today. Just for efficiency, you can't just be you know running here, running there to each system. You have to be able to make sure everything talks to each other. Right. I mean, pharmacy just can't be siloed in general. And so, you know, adherence packaging is powerful for any kind of patient. Honestly, I mean, I think it would be useful whether you're coming into the pharmacy or not. But if we're looking at this idea of a combo shop and uh, revenue, a uh, uh, business revenue that's not dependent on waiting for a DIR fee uh, report, <laughs> um, right. the care package um, really gives a lot of uh, um, power to the pharmacy to provide mm -hmm. complete package to the patient at home and the caregiver providing, managing that care. Mm -hmm. uh, you, know, as to a, you know, a traditional facility where there's staffed and trained nurses. I mean, the, the packaging you're talking about, mm -hmm. anybody can, can use to help their, exactly. their patient, you know? Yeah, exactly. Again, I think the, the care package really puts the pharmacy at the center of patient care um, where they're coordinating everything. Um, and I think the care package, again, one of the, the unique features is the communication piece. There was even a, on the care plan that I talked about, not only is it documenting the information that the pharmacist spoke with the patient about, I, I'll, I don't know about you, but I know that when even myself, when I leave the doctor's office or if I go to the pharmacy to pick up my medications and they explain to me what I'm supposed to do, I may have remembered when I, you know, five minutes later, I may have remembered half of what they just said. Right. Because right. um, sometimes, you know, you're dealing with you're dealing with health issues and things like that. Like you already have a lot on your mind. And so sometimes it's hard to remember all those things. And so I think the care the care plan is really nice right there where the patient is taking their medication, they've got that care plan and, oh yes, this is what I talked to my doctor about and here's what he said I should do about this or that. Um, and so I think that, and then the communications to the, the um, doctors, just really kind of keeping everybody in the same loop. Um, and then as far as for facilities and our MOT complete system, I think there's not a lot of systems out there that um, offer what the system does just as far as the versatility, mm -hmm. um, just making it very simple and easy and straightforward for the facility staff. Um, you know, it, it's just, there's not a lot, you know, a lot more to say about that. It's just uh, really easy for the staff to follow. We, from a very young age, learn how to uh, read a calendar. And so it's easy for them to follow in a calendar format. It's very easy to see what dose has been given, what dose has not been given. Right. Um, and so just, I think the versatility is really unmatched. Well, I, and I, I I learned something new, which I I didn't realize you could do seven days or, or a month. So that is also right. important because um, uh, alternative care settings, you know, maybe not someone who's in a facility Mm -hmm. they moved and they're going to stay there if you have someone who's more in a um like a rehab situation or right right a little bit transient that being yes. a week as opposed to a month is is it's beneficial easy. and for med changes sometimes um a week is nice for med, med changes the, the great thing about um our systems all of them is that you do have the versatility of toggling back and forth so you could have a patient most most of the time they're on a monthly format but you know you could talk to them to a week maybe a, one of your your uh, long-term care at home patients they're getting ready to go on a trip or to go see their family they just want that one week um in one package because it's easier for them to follow them have to pack it you know bring more more packages right. although on the on the flip side i would say one of the benefits to the monthly layout if there aren't going to be a lot of med changes which there are a lot of features in the software like we could talk all day about med changes and how that works um but i would say you're re actually reducing the amount of packages you're giving out if you're using the monthly format so as an example if a patient takes just um three doses a day and there's one dose that's empty in a weekly pack every week. Um, you would actually only be giving them three packages because you could, they get a package for each dose time if you do the monthly format. So there's some, there's benefits to both. Um, you can also do all kinds of things where you can 
um, isolate certain medications together. There's a lot of versatility in the software as that, you know, as far as that's concerned as well. Well, I think that's great. I, to be honest, I, um, I hadn't thought about that, but these pharmacists who we talk to all the time are entrepreneurial and mm-hmm. always, you know, do like to customize what they're offering. And right. so I think that would be music to many of their ears because they can say, well, this is how I like to do it. And you can say, great, well, you can, you can do this and this and this. Yeah, different. absolutely. Right. They're not. I would say the- one <laughs> example, we have a feature called uh, the daycare package. So for uh, patients, maybe they, as an example, let's say my mom came to live with me, but I go to work every day and I take her to an adult daycare facility during the day. Uh, but then she's home with me in the evenings, or it could be for a child that goes to school. And uh, this a daycare package feature in the software allows you to plug in the software, the hours that that person's going to be at a different location. Um, and that way it separates out the, the packages. So you have your packages that you take to the adult daycare facility and the packages that are left at home. So that's just one example of uh, one of the features that that is used in the software to just accommodate you know, the system's been around for many, many years, like 35 years and counting now. Right. Um, so over the years, we've seen so many things We and, and Medicine on Time as a whole has evolved uh, to accommodate all those things. So that's, I think, one thing that works to our advantage is we, just the experience that we've had and the things that we've been able to co- incorporate um, as requests have come from our pharmacies who are servicing the end users. Right, right. The, the ability to enhance the software based mm-hmm. on real life experience from the pharmacist and what's going to help right. the pharmacist feel successful and um, continue to want to use the the software and the packaging because they see mm-hmm. this opportunity and you're able to offer that to them with the, the enhancement. Right. I guess if you don't mind, this isn't, this isn't on our list of questions, but I was going to ask, um, you know, in the past few years, as you've developed the, the care package and uh, the new software, what do you have any, uh, you know, sort of favorite case studies, favorite pharmacies who you feel like really were able to, um, you know, add new business or, or mm-hmm. be very optimistic about their future because they've implemented uh, programs using uh, MOT products and services and software? Right, right. I mean, there's there's many. I actually just came back from a trade show not too long ago. I ran into um, one of our customers, they're a fairly new customer, actually. I think they've only been with us for maybe around two years. Um, and they started right when our, pack, our care package came out. And, and uh, last time I had heard, they were around 1,200 patients on the system. And then I saw them at the show. They're like, oh, no, we're way above that now. We love the system. Okay. Um, and so that's always really exciting to hear and wonderful uh, we do hear a lot from our longtime customers um, how much they like the software, how they can't live without the software, how it improves their the their ability to be able to service their patients better, um, and their ability to stay organized and efficient as, as a staff. Um, and so we hear a lot about that um, all all the time. In fact, we have a, a pharmacy, and without naming any names or anything, but we have a customer that reached out here recently, they're wanting to add another type of system, um, but they're wanting, it's, it's a system that we have never integrated with, but that our software is so valuable to them that they want our system be, to be able to talk to this other system as well. So it just shows you how like how crucial um, our work calendar and all the features in our software are to these types of pharmacies that are growing their business in more of a long-term care setting as well. Yeah, the com- the combo shop model where yes, I still maintain the retail and use adherence packaging for retail, but really they mm-hmm. see the opportunity in in servicing the um, the uh, various care settings that are residential, more residential. Right, right. Um, well, that's great. I think that that's uh, interesting because that fits into this idea of. What I always, my takeaways when we, you and I talk about uh, the, the latest uh, features from Medicine on Time is the workflow efficiencies that um, you provide right. and with the integrations and the calendaring. It just seems like it makes these pharmacies, uh, it gives them the opportunity to be very, very efficient uh, and, and care and take on more business because of that, take on more patients because of that. And that's the end goal. Pharmacies that, I mean, there's a certain point, pharma, some pharmacies start out by just servicing, you know, a couple small group homes or assisted living. 
Um, and, and there's a point, I, I, you know, they could talk to an uh, organization. We actually partner with Jerry Med. So as an example, um, a pharmacy that services that type of setting, you get to a certain point and then maybe it's time to go ahead and become an actual combo pharmacy and, and really grow in that area. Um, and so, you know, the, what our system does is provides the, like you said, the efficiency to be able to do that because if why why even get into that sector if you can only kind of dip your toe in the water um if, if you can't really grow you know when it comes to not only efficiency in the pharmacy and being able to continue to take on business but maybe eventually getting into automation to where really you're growing exponentially what's the point of doing it it needs to become a, a pretty big part of your business to really benefit from it so well i think that and that fits into this idea of the the final question was going to be, what are the first steps you should take? But I mean, you sort of just answered that, which is, you know, you can dip your toe in, that's fine, but you want mm -hmm. to be set up to, to grow, not to just, to grow. Not right, just right. sort of part-time, but really make it an important part of your pharmacy and mm -hmm. have it fit into your workflow and have the staff be comfortable doing it. And right, exactly. Um, and, and yeah, I mean, I, I, there are pharmacies out there and there, that want to just continue to service patients uh, and keep it fairly low volume and stay more of a retail pharmacy. Um, and I think that's wonderful. We have uh, lots of, of products that, that support them in that. Actually, a lot of our customers are retail and they continue to be retail. I'm using more of the care package for just the regular uh, patients. Um, but for pharmacies that are looking to kind of venture into the long-term care sector, I would say we are a really good resource for that. And I think a first step would be um, to reach out to us, schedule a consultation. Uh, we have a really knowledgeable staff, so we can kind of like go through a discovery process to help understand what that pharmacy's short-term and long-term goals are and build out a plan based on what they're what they're trying to do, knowing that that plan could modify going forward, depending on what, what type of business that they right. would like to capture. Um, but we not only offer the, the software and the solutions, but we also offer the support. So our um, customer support team um, is made up of uh, not only IT professionals, but nationally certified pharmacy technicians. And generally they come from a pharmacy that's done a lot of compliance packaging um, servicing the, these types of communities. And so they really have a lot of experience um, to, to share with, you know, maybe some retail pharmacies that are kind of looking to get into this sector. Uh, we also offer marketing. So for uh, pharmacies, anything related to adherence packaging, whether it's, you know, servicing patients within their community or um, going out into facilities and trying to capture business, we uh, offer all kinds of marketing resources We'll provide resources for updating websites, for presentations. We'll actually do presentations on their behalf with facilities. Um, we have flyers, we have videos, uh, you name it, we have it. We can even do custom stuff. So um, we really try to be a true partner to the pharmacy. And right. so I think, you know, reaching out to us is a really good first step. Again, we also uh, partner with Jerry Med. They're really another really great resource that we will forward them to at the right time as well. Right, right. Well, I think it's really important that your your point about the support, because we've been talking more about the technology, because that's uh, clearly our focus, but right, the right. business support, the business planning mm -hmm. is really uh, at least half is important. You know, it's 50% of it. You can have the technology. You can mm -hmm. know, well, this is the workflow. But unless you have a business plan and you right. have marketing to support your business plan, you might mm -hmm. not see the full benefits. So the fact that Medicine on Time offers such extensive uh, uh, business Services. support is really, yes. really helpful and important. Yeah. I mean, it's a really important piece. A lot of pharmacies don't have their own marketing team. They don't have those resources. So right. for us to be able to provide that to them for a lot of pharmacies, a really, really big benefit. Yeah. Well, this is great. We've covered all of our questions. I don't know if you have anything you want to uh, close with or. I don't think so. I appreciate the time. Final and expertise yeah. you'd like to share. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think that uh, we covered most everything. Thanks for the opportunity to to let me talk more about medicine on time and what we do. And yeah. um, we we would love to be more of a resource, resource for pharmacies. So, you know, just letting everybody know they can reach out to us. We can kind of start with a basic consultation and go from there. Great. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Maggie. Appreciate it.